Ladies and gentlemen, I'll be your guide today, folks. Welcome to go over your food, ladies and gentlemen. Now, let's start with the safety rules. Okay, folks, safety first. Now, first, folks, we all have to remain seated. There's no prolonged standing in the boat. We all have to remain seated. Now, if you do want to just stand for a picture real quick, you know, I get it. They're a great photo op to along the river. But be aware, folks, we have some low bridges, so watch your heads. And also, let's watch our elbows. You know, we'll be passing on the boats, and there'll be some narrow areas, so just be aware. Now, be comfortable, but be aware. Uh, and now, before we get started, with the tour guide, I have a quick question. Do I have any locals on the boat? Anybody from San Antonio here on the boat? No locals? All right, it's good to know. Cool. You know why I asked that question? Because now I know I can just make all this up. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, guys. Everything I tell you will be true, folks. Everything I tell you will be true. Now, we can actually start with building here to the left of us. This is the Hilton Palacio del Rio, the Palace of the River. And this hotel is in the Guinness Book of World Records for being the fastest modularly built building of its size ever. Now, they built this entire hotel, folks, from beginning to end, 500 rooms in 202 working days. Now, 202 working days, folks, that's less than eight months. Now, just to give you guys something to compare that to, the little ticket office we just left up, it took us 18 months to build those two little buildings there. <laughs> now, the way they built this hotel so fast was they built the first four floors right here on site, along with the elevator shaft there in the middle at the base. And all the square rooms, you see, those were being built at the exact same time, seven miles out of town on an assembly line. And they were brought in on flatbed trucks. And when they arrived here in town, every one of these rooms was fully furnished. Everything was in there. All the beds were in place, the pictures were on the walls, dressers, mirrors, TVs. Everything was ready to go in every room. All they had to do was use two giant cranes and stack them on top of each other like Lego blocks. And each one of those rooms weighed 70,000 pounds. And this part of the river here in front of us, this is the Arneson River Theater. The seating is to the left and the stage is to the right. It's an amphitheater divided by the river. And folks, we can see 800 people here in the Arneson. We call that intimate seating. Because with 800 people up there, you will get to know your neighbors. And if this part of the river looks familiar, if you've ever seen a movie called Miss Congeniality with Sandra Bullock, this is where they filmed the swimsuit competition. Mm -hmm. They filmed the swimsuit competition on this stage and they filmed the talent portion in front of the Alamo. And here to the right of us, this is the Briscoe Western Art Museum. And this used to be our public library from 1930 until 1968. In 1968, it was renovated and turned into the Hertzberg Circus Museum. In 2013, it was renovated again and turned into the Briscoe Western Art Museum. You see the sculpture here to the right? Those two birds? Those are greater heron. And they put that sculpture up right there, folks, because those birds nest here along the river every year. If you look up here to the left, see the trees up there? The two cypress trees right there? And I try to keep to the right, folks, because they'll make a big old mess of your boat. See them up there? They're a little easier to spot when we pass them. Look back. See what they're in the trees? And there's one right there. And this bridge we're going to go under here, folks. Now, this is the Presa Street Bridge. And this bridge was built in 1890 by a British ironworks company. And there are only six of these bridges known to still be in existence in five of them span the river. These were built for horse and carriages. I told people we want to be out. Like, this is why we don't have seven foot tall boat drivers here on the river. You gotta know exactly which way to go under this bridge according to your height. And here to the right of all folks is something from the romantic here. This is called Marriage Island. Now we have about 300 marriages performed right here on this little island every year. This is where Father Damien Massenet held the very first Catholic Mass here along the river back in 1691. And actually named it the San Antonio River from this site. So this is considered to be a holy site and an extra blessing on your marriage to get married right here. So people come from all over Texas to get married right here on this little island. See, look, there's, there's one of those birds right there. And look, I'll tell you a cute story, folks. 
I was driving by here about five or six months ago. There was a young couple. They were sitting there kissing. I said, sir, you know this is called Marriage Island, right? And he said, well, I may as well propose. So he reached in his pocket, pulled out the ring, got it on his knee. And I confess, folks, I'm a hope this boat man. I couldn't stop this boat fast enough. I don't know who was more surprised, me or his girlfriend. So I told myself, well, that's a cute story. I'm going to add that on my tour. That's a cute story. So I added it in, folks. And four days later, there was another couple. They were sitting right here on the corner. I called those the love seats. The gentleman said, do you mind if I say something? I said, no, sir. You can say whatever you like. He got down on his knee and proposed to his girlfriend. Have you guys ever seen the movie Superstar? I felt like Mary Catherine Gallagher, folks. I was like, yes. <laughs> and the first thing I thought to myself was, please say yes, please say yes, please say yes. I said yes before you did, man, please say yes. But she said yes, so it turned out perfect. And sometimes, folks, people will ask me, Dietrich, what's the name of your boat? I tell them, this is the love boat. Uh, you know, I'm doing pretty good. I'm two for two, so I'm doing pretty good. Mm -hmm. And here to left of boat, this yeah, is my favorite day, building here on Walk. This is the Tower mm -hmm. Life building. Now, it's one word, Tower Life, and it was built in 1929 and called the Smith and Young Tower. And Mr. Smith and Mr. Young were really superstitious, so they put those gargoyles all the way around the top. There's actually 16 of those. And if you look right above the second row of windows here on the bottom, you see some faces there. And those faces are called grotesques. They put those there to help ward away evil spirits and make sure they made good business investments. But did you catch it, folks? Good business investments. They built this building in 1929. So when the stock market crashed, they lost everything. It cost them $3 million to complete this building. And five months later, the stock market crashed and they had to sell it for $300,000. Pennies on the dollar. I tell people with that deal, that was literally 10 cents on every dollar. Those faces did not work. You see where I tell with his mouth wide open? I told people that's the $300,000 face. <laughs> He's like, we're getting how much for this building? You see the smile on the one right next to him? That's the guy that bought the building. Yeah. And this next bridge we're getting one right here. The sign in the middle says St. Mary Street. Now this bridge, folks, that we're about to go under right now, the St. Mary Street Bridge. Now this bridge right here, folks, has no historical significance. <laughs> Just the bridge. <laughs> Except for this folks, look, I'll show you why that's my favorite building here on Woodlock. Now if you look back at the Tower of Life building from the other side of this bridge, it looks like a ship coming down the river. So they designed the whole thing of this building like the bow of a ship. They even angled it a little bit so it looks like it's coming down the river. So that's one of two optical illusions here along the river. And if you can imagine somebody standing up there like this, you know, the Caprio style. There's a reason for that, folks. They designed the whole front end of this building like the bow of the Titanic. But they even put rails across the front. See there in the middle? I tell people that maybe why they had to sell it for $300,000. And man, we're going to have one heck of an apple snail infestation this year, folks. See those snails right there? Under the elephant ears, see the elephant ears right there to the left, all the way over to the left. See that snail underneath it right there? Look how big that snail is. That's a small one, that's an apple snail. And that's an invasive species here in the San Antonio River. We are not supposed to have apple snails here in the river. Like they're going to be everywhere this year. You see the size of that thing, folks? That's a small one. That snail will eventually get to be about this big. Think about that big. It's called an apple snail. And that's an invasive species here in the San Antonio River. We don't know where they came from. We think somebody probably dumped their aquarium made up river. They just came down with a current. Uh, they're going to be everywhere. You want to see it? Look. You see that elephant here plant right there? You see a white elephant right there? See that snail? And then look right there. There's another one right there. See there's two more right there? You see how big they are? Yeah, that's an invasive species here. We don't know where they came from. I'll tell you something else, folks. I'm a bit of a conservationist. Now, I'm an outdoorsman. I like hunting and fishing and stuff like that. So it kind of comes with the territory. You're a bit of an outdoorsman. You're a bit of a conservationist. And as conservationists, folks, we have a saying. When it comes to invasive species of all kinds, folks, whatever it is, birds, ducks, fish, whatever it is, it goes like this. If you can't beat them, 
eat them. <laughs> well, I don't think I'm gonna try to figure out how to cook one. I don't know about that. And look here in front of us, folks, here's something else for the romantics. If you look up on the street level there in front of us, see all the locks on the fence up there? Mm -hmm. now, those are called love locks, like in Paris. Now, the tradition says you and your love come down and you put a lock on the fence. And you both kiss the keys and you throw the keys in the river, sealing your love forever. So right now, there are thousands of keys beneath us in the river. Oh, I'm sorry, folks, you'll have to remain seated, folks. I'm sorry, you'll have to remain seated. He'll have to remain seated. Thank you very much. <laughs> now look, if you look back from this side, you see there's another fence on this side with hundreds more locks on it. And I used to tell people, folks, all those keys are beneath us in the river right now. But I had to stop saying that. All those keys part, you know, I think some of these guys might be a little unsure of themselves. So because I realize, folks, if you look there to the left, there's a lot of combination locks up there. So a lot of these guys are not throwing their keys in the river. And I'm not too sure if it's still open today, but there's a little store right here on the corner called Love Street where you can buy locks right there. <laughs> there's going to be a white brick building coming up here to the left of us. Now, right now, this is the Drury Inn Hotel. But back in 1921, when we actually had that flood, this was our CPS office, City Public Service. This is where you'd come pay your utility bill. And there was a picture in the San Antonio paper, the headlines read, ironically, the CPS office floods. The water, folks, was just below the chandeliers in there. So that's what 10 feet above the street level looks like, just below the chandeliers. We call this the Selena Bridge. Now, you folks have ever seen the movie Selena with Jennifer Lopez? This is the bridge they filmed on here. There's a scene where they're walking along the river and they come sit on a bridge. This is the bridge. And now coming up right here folks, I'll show you the second optical illusion here along the river. Now when I pass this bridge folks, if you look straight up to the left of the boat, you're going to see the old Nick's Hospital. Uh, this hospital was built back in 1930 and it was revolutionary folks. It was one of the first hospitals here in the country that was completely air conditioned. 
But the really cool thing about that. this building is it was designed from a river walk side. It looked like a flat wall. So when I pass this bridge, if you look straight up to the left of you'll see a 26 story flat wall with windows. directly here in front of us folks now this is the Hyatt Regency Hotel and this hotel is right across the street from the Alamo so it had to be shadow tested now we have a tradition here in San Antonio that says no building will ever cast a shadow on the Alamo now this hotel was planned to be 26 stories tall the same height as the Knicks Hospital but at 26 stories here well that would have been a huge shadow on the Alamo so what they did was, while the building was building here, the city and the state came out and they inspected his shadow line. Now, there is such thing in the shadow line, folks. They inspected the shadow line of this building as it went up. And when he made it to 16 stories, they told him, you have to stop your building right here. You cannot build it any higher. If you go one floor higher here at 17 stories, you could, you might cast a shadow on the Alamo and you cannot do that. So we actually capped this building at 16 stories tall. Look, I'll show you the difference, folks. If you look here to the right, over the bridge here, you'll still see the next hospital. So this hotel was supposed to be that tall. So to make up for that, because I mean, if you think about it, this builder came to work one day and lost 10 floors off his hotel right there. So to make up for that, what he did was he re-engineered the rest of the building. Instead of making it taller, he made it wider. All this part of the river here, this is called the River Square. Now, this is where you'll find most of the bars and restaurants here along the river. So, if you folks have ever wondered, does anybody actually fall into the river? Yes, they do, folks, fall into the river. We average about 60 people every year that fall in. And they usually fall in right along in here, so. You know, we call those guys the Friday Nighters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, I'll also tell people folks out here in the downtown area, the natural flow of the San Antonio River is only four feet deep. And here in San Antonio, we are known to throw a party. It's called Fiesta. It lasts for 11 days. So I think they left this river four feet deep for a reason. And here to the right of us, this is Casa Rio Mexican Restaurant. Uh, this is the very first restaurant on Woodwalk. They opened in 1946. They were the first ones to offer Riverside Dining, and also the first ones to offer dining on the other. And now coming up right here in front of us, you can see two hotels coming to view here. Now these are both going to be Marriott Hotel. The one to the left is the River Center Marriott, and the one to the right is the River Walk Marriott. And now when they first bought the land to build this River Walk Marriott, there was already a hotel right there on the site. It was called the Fairmont Hotel. 
and the Fairmont Hotel is on the National Historic Registry. So it's a little historic three-story hotel. So the builders of this Marriott had a little problem, folks. Uh, they couldn't just destroy that little historic hotel and put the Marriott up. They actually had to figure out how they were going to move it. So what they did was they put it on 36 giant dollies. Each one of them had eight wheels. And they moved the whole building five blocks down the road to Alamo and Noella. It took them five days to move that building five blocks. I guess it's actually been refurbished. It's a beautiful hotel now. And coming up here to the light if you go on the wall here, you'll see a tower there. Uh, this is the Tower of the Americas. And this was a centerpiece for the 1968 World Fair. And this tower is 750 feet high. It has a revolving restaurant and an observation deck. And that restaurant makes one full rotation in just under an hour, so you can't really feel it moving. I've heard guests say, yes, you can. Did I tell you something else, folks? I think the guys who built the tower had a pretty good sense of humor, folks. Look, I'll tell you why. But like I said, that restaurant does make one full rotation, but the bathrooms do not. So when you come out of the bathroom, your table's not going to be over there anymore. It's going to be over there somewhere. <laughs> The sculpture here in front of us now, she's called the Stargazer. And this is the newest piece of artwork here on the live walk. And the artist says she's holding something called a titular star. It's a star with a hole in the middle. And it says that certain times of the year, you'll be able to look through that hole in the star and you can pinpoint certain stars in the sky. But I'll tell you something else, folks. There's also a sign right next to that sculpture that says, please do not climb on the artwork. So I don't know how you're supposed to see a star for that little hole right there. And now all this part of the river here in front of us, folks. Now this is one of the newest additions to the River Walk. This is the River Center Mall area. Uh, this was done back in 1988. And here at the River Center Mall, there are 125 shops, restaurants, and small boutiques here. There's actually over a million square feet of shopping space here, folks. I'll tell you something else, guys. We also have two movie theaters here in the River Center Mall. One of them is an IMAX theater. Now, has anybody ever seen a movie on an IMAX theater screen? That screen in there is six stories tall and eight stories wide. Now, I told people that post that screen in there is six stories tall and eight stories wide. And right about here, people get a good look at that building. And I see the gears in their head turning, like, wait a minute. That's only a four-story building. How'd they get a six-story movie screen there? You did say you weren't going to make anything up. But actually, what they did, folks, was they incorporated the basement of the food court and the height of the movie screen. So my favorite part, if you look right over the, right over the river center sign in the middle, see the dinosaur inside there? See his tail moving? Watch his tail. You see the flowers there? You see his tail? It hits the glass right there. Watch. See the two red flowers? See the tail? See, see the red flowers? Watch, watch the two windows. See the trees in the tail? Oh, boy, it's coming. Yeah, see his tail moving in there? If you look right above, see the, see the red flowers? Look right next to him. Now, not only do we have a million square feet of shopping space here at the River Center Mall and two movie theaters, we even have an adult daycare here to the right of us. It's called Margaritaville.
Zoom in the body. Coming over here to the right, little folks, we're going to pass this little footbridge. If you look here on the right hand side, you're going to see an eight foot statue here. Now, this is a statue of St. Anthony or San Antonio de Padua. And this statue was a gift for the 1968 World's Fair from the Portuguese. If you look here to the right, right over the wall here, in between the trees, you'll see a church steeple there. Now that's the steeple for St. Joseph's German Catholic Church. And this church was built in 1868 by our German-speaking immigrants here. Now back in the 1800s, folks, you'd hear German here just as much as you'd hear English or Spanish. I mean, my name's actually Dietrich. So if you look over the wall here to the immediate right, you'll see that building there. Now that is not the church, folks. That is Riverside Mall where we just left. Now originally, when they were building this mall, what they wanted to do was to buy the church and just tear it down and build on the whole piece of property. They wanted the entire block. But of course, who's gonna sell the historic church? So what the Riverside Mall did was, they just bought all the surrounding land and built on all three sides of the church. So from right here, you can tell a little bitty church there in the middle, and then Riverside Mall to the left and the right. They didn't even leave a room for a parking lot, folks. Actually, just a church up there. And like I said, that's an iconic church. Every fourth Sunday, they have their mass in German. They have an all-male German choir that sings in there. They even have all the original stained glass windows they brought from Germany. In there. It's a beautiful church. I tell people they have everything except for a parking lot. Oh, but don't feel bad about the parking lot, folks. Listen to this. When they were building the mall, they actually encroached on the church's property by five feet. Big mistake, folks. So, of course, the church sued them, and of course, they won, and they were awarded $5 million. $1 million for every foot that the mall went over their property. Talk about karma, huh? Don't mess with the church. Oh, all right, folks. Now, this pretty much concludes our tour, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're gonna make this left hand turn and when we do, we'll be right back at the ticket office where we pick you folks up. So at this point, like I said, this pretty much concludes our tour, ladies and gentlemen. So please look around, folks. Make sure you have everything with you, okay? You don't wanna leave anything on the boat, like your cell phones, video cameras, cameras, shopping bags, backpacks, things like that. But now if you do leave something on the boat, folks, don't worry, we do have a lost and found. You can retrieve your lost items at www.ebay.com. <laughs> oh, you guys caught that. Well, that's going to be catch that. All right, folks. Now, we hope you guys had a good time.